Intersect 2019 and we're back at the Homeland Security and Policing section of the show. Close to 100 exhibitors at this particular section, uh, including Canadian company Voti Detection. And I'm with uh, Rory Olsen, the CEO of Voti Detection. Uh, Rory, thank you very much for joining us. My pleasure. Um, first of all, uh, Voti Detection, uh, what is your line of business here? Uh, we uh, protect buildings and perimeter. We do the uh, x-ray scanning, threat detection, as well as loss prevention. We are indeed in Canada, but also you mentioned that you opened a, uh, an assembly plant here in Dubai. Yes, yeah, certainly. We uh, find Dubai to be a wonderfully friendly place to be able to operate in terms of our business. The Middle East is uh, increasingly becoming an important footprint for us. Uh, and we've just found that uh, being in the region is very helpful. It seems to be a center point for many other uh, areas uh, such as uh, Turkey and, and whatnot. So we find it a great place just to call our home. It's your third year at Intersec uh, exhibiting at the show here. Uh, what sort of role did the exhibition here play uh, in, in establishing a presence in the region? Well, it's, Intersec is considered to be probably the most important security conference in the world. And so having a presence here was very important to us, even in our infancy. We felt that uh, it was a must as far as uh, you know, marketing and gaining brand recognition was concerned. Uh, and, and, and it quite succeeded. So this is our third year at the uh, booth, Progr or at the show, when we've progressively taken uh, bigger booth sizes every time as our footprint uh, worldwide has increased. Okay, and obviously aviation is uh, airports is one sort of key uh, industry, but you also there's other verticals and uh, particular uh, end user profiles that could actually use your equipment. Sure, we use uh, we do transportation hubs, so we furnish several metros around the world, uh, train stations. Uh, we do buildings and perimeters, such as uh, we do the Amazon distribution centers throughout North America and Mexico. And uh, for them, they're using a slightly different application. They're doing loss prevention. So uh, in, in, in the United States and in uh, Canada, loss prevention is a multi-billion dollar a year problem. And so uh, what ends up happening is, is that uh, every distribution warehouse that's open, that Amazon opens, Vodi scanners are present. Okay, and what about in the Middle East and African region? Uh, what, what, uh industries tend to be, uh, I guess, most attractive for voter detection? We do customs houses, police stations, um, we do courthouses, uh, we do um, buildings and perimeters such as prisons and uh, police stations. All right, we're going to have a look at uh, the centerpiece of, of voter detection here in a second in a minute. Um, but just it's the third day of the show so far, what has the reaction been over the first two days? It's been incredible. I mean, um, the one thing that Bodhi has, it, dif it has a differentiated technology. Uh, in virtue of its 3D perspective, and then in virtue of its full-blown technology stack, uh, we offer a much higher resolution image, uh, and combined with the 3D uh, uh, perspective, it makes the operator's job so much uh, easier than any of our competitors' machines. What you're seeing here is the smallest machine of our fleet. We have machines that are 1.8 by 1.8 meters, uh, and those will do warehouses and uh, freight forwarding uh, all over the world. Well, okay, well, hopefully you'll be bringing those to Intersec in future editions of the show. But, uh, when we have a bigger booth. <laughs> exactly. Meanwhile, well, let's, uh, let's just take this, uh, this uh, piece of machinery through its paces. Uh, if you can just take us through what, uh, what we're going to see here now. Certainly. I'm going to turn it over to Shiley to uh, give you a uh, proper demo. So as you know, we have an edge uh, because we have a 3D perspective, which uh, kind of eliminates all the blind spots um, inside the bag, on the edges of the bag. So we just run you through the bag. We have about a few sharp objects on the edges of the back, so you'll be able to see it very clearly on our machine versus uh, what you would see on a 2D perspective machine. Yeah. So you see here, uh, there's a knife on the edge of the back that we've placed. Um, if you go uh, and see it on a 2D perspective, uh, these edges are eliminated. So you won't be able to see if somebody's hiding some sharp objects, narcotics, um, on the edges of the bag. Uh, we have different features um, highlighting uh, different, for example, a pseudo gives you a layer by layer uh, penetration of the bag. So everything, um, it'll give you an idea of everything that's under each layer of the bag. 
right? So there's nothing that you can hide even on a dense, under a dense object, like a black, probably a lead. If you, if you have something under that, you'll be able to see layer by layer. We have a software which able to detect basically anything that's uh, explosive or a sharp object inside by highlighting it in red. Yeah. So basically in this particular bag is any kind of potential threat is, is yes. obviously identifiable yes. and it's showcased here. Uh, even if, for example, I'm sure an operator job is really difficult and probably they're doing it for like 12 hours at a stretch, uh, but uh, our software gives you an edge that even if uh, the operator is not as attentive, um, you still get an alert if there is something um, that's not supposed to pass through the machine. Mm. So, yeah. okay. Well, thank you very much for thank that uh, very brief uh, demonstration. It was very interesting. Uh, Rory, uh, you mentioned uh, before uh, that you obviously have an assembling plant here in Dubai. Um, what, what parts uh, do, do you assemble here and, and, and typically for what kind of uh, clients? So what we will do is uh, we import the chassis uh, from uh, Canada and um, we will then uh, have the assembly done in the form of integrating the x-ray source, the detector cards, the roller tables and whatnot. And so we come up with a very fully finished uh, unit and we factory test it here and then we ship it within the context of the region. Right. And um, that's the Middle East, Africa, Asia or w w what sort of uh, areas do you sort of export from from your Dubai hub? So it's all of Middle East, uh, the GCC. It's uh, certainly Africa, North Africa, Turkey, uh, and whatnot. That would I would say is the principal footprint. How long have you been in this region? We've been in for three years. So since uh, sort of coincides with your first. Uh, participation at Intersec, uh, then yeah, you establish well, a plant. The, the company has been around since 2008, but really was a prototype development company. And three years ago, we really hit the mainstream and started the commercialization of the product. Since then, we've grown our product skew from one uh, machine with a 60-40 tunnel size to uh, several different machines, including uh, large mobile um, um, x-ray machines as well as uh, huge cargo machines. Rory, thank you very much for your time and good luck with the rest thank of the sick.